All right, so I just found a new podcast to me anyway, and they're on like episode 17, 18, which I'm going to catch up with in the next two weeks because I'm going to listen to an episode a day and uh, critique it's the wrong word, just offer my opinion on what it sparked in me or my would I see what they're talking about related to the global cooperative that I have envisioned. And so the guy who does it is named Michael Albert, and it is Revolution Z, and this episode one is called why vision why strategy and so a lot of what he talks about is that we need a vision and strategy something we can work together towards instead of and what I thought um, what it sparked was we have the same things we desire but we have different things we fear and so we critique and argue about what we're scared about we're more scared about our family we're more scared about our own individual health or, um, and those things play off each other, right? We can't, what's the biggest priority? Is it racism? Is it homophobia? Is it, is it my kids being fed? Versus what we desire is often not unique to us, right? We do desire our kids to be fed. We desire to be healthy. We desire to be, have uh, abundance in our own lives. And so that was, was interesting that like what, I know I struggle with presenting what it is I envision in a positive what we get what we get vision as opposed to why we need it because we're about to have a terrifying future. And I live in both of those worlds. I live in the, okay, this is going to be a shitstorm in my kid's lifetime if we don't do something about it. And also with what I'm able to see as possible in the future, a future I am actively working towards. I do have vision and I have strategy. I just really wish I could communicate it in a way that that works. And I know that part of what we need to do and what I've struggled with, because I'm well doing the work I'm doing, I've come across many movements that are amazing and had conversations with people like Nicole from the trans uh, the transition, I think dot org that I'm a part of, but there is this weird, like, we don't join together. And part of it is somebody creates their own vision and values, and then you're either gonna come on board and work from that point, or you're not. And I, long before searching other people to work on, to, to join the project I wanna create, knew, okay, well, what are the things that would need to be in place? If I found an organization or a group that held these values, I would jump on board and help them to the best of my ability. And for me, it's things like democracy or something equivalent, that people get a voice, that it's transparent, that it's not, well, we created this and now you can either be part of the inner circle or not part of the inner circle. I want anyone who comes on board to be able to be as instrumental as they desire. I want it to be voluntary. I want it to be something that inspires me to be my best self to I need it to not be ableist and a lot of them are really ableist and we're gonna get to the later podcast later which I'm sure I will have comments on and and everyone's ableist I mean unless you have every single disability that is possible on this planet you're going to have some internal ableism about your stuff and other other people's that having more intelligent makes you more worthy and whatever that intelligence is that having more physical ability makes you more worthy. And I don't think anything makes you more worthy. I think each of us is a unique entity that is worthy of being on this planet, having our needs met and getting to contribute in our own unique way. And it's about organizing that effort in a way that collectively moves us forward. So for the individual, it's easy and fun. And for the group, there's powerful momentum forward. And I can see how we get there with a technology cooperative that we all own together and anyone can come on board and be a part of. And I see like the first communication platform that facilitates that, facilitates, although the communication platform might not be able to be done in a transparent, open way because we don't yet have the tools, once we have the social media platform that we own that we can help co-evolve as we can say what's not working and what is working and it's designed for a meaningful conversation, then all of the meaningful conversations can take place and we can tackle all of the problems bypassing the current government and for-profit corporations and just creating solutions together once we have the tools to be able to do that. 
which starts with just a conversation. So I don't know how much I talked about that episode, but I am excited to have found this um, podcast. I said it was uh, Revolution Z, episode one, why vision, why strategy, and the person who does it is Michael Albert, if I can read my own writing here, which is not necessarily a given. And what I got from this first episode is for the vision I need to give to the world, I need to present it often, more often, in the pro side, in how do we refill the cup instead of arguing about how it got empty in the first place and that it's empty and convincing people it's empty. How do we fill it back up? And that is what I am here on this planet to do, is to create a world that works for everyone, including allowing everyone to contribute to that world and the creation of it in their own unique way. So, and I'm also posting daily now. So this is today's video my response to Revolution Z, which I might be doing daily unless something else sparks. Take care. Please like and subscribe, as my kid says at the end of all of our videos that are yet to be online.